Welcome to BC Mnemonics. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the self-orienting armillary dial and exploring exactly how it is able to self-orient. To answer this question, it's worth taking a look at a more straightforward type of hour angle dial, that being this equatorial bowstring. Let's consider this dial in terms of inputs and outputs. The inputs in this case are a northern orientation and a setting for the local latitude. With these two variables known and accounted for, the outputs given are solar time and date. In the case of the self-orienting armillary dial, the inputs and out outputs are shuffled around a little bit differently, the inputs being a latitude setting and a date setting. And the outputs in this case are solar time and the direction of true north. Now in this case, the key point the key piece to this self-orienting is the date scale, as this encompasses and uh, makes use of a very common principle of altitude dials. So for any given latitude, at any given date, at any given solar elevation, there are two possible hours. The sun is mirrored in its elevation across the east and west um, direction, so at any given point in the day, there is a matching elevation on the other half of the sky. So for example, this hour, it could either be 8 a.m. or 4 p.m. The sun has the same elevation at these two moments, simply 8 a.m. in the eastern portion of the sky and 4 p.m. in the western portion. So how do we know which hour it truly is if I'm taking this measurement? Well, there are two ways to know. One is having a rough idea of the direction of north. If I know I'm looking, taking this observation in the eastern portion of the sky, it's 8 a.m. If western, it's 4 p.m. The other way is to know whether I'm taking this measurement uh, before or after noon. Likewise, I will have um, a pretty obvious sense of which is correct. Now, this principle, as I said, is also at play in the, um, the, the date scale here. As, as I said, for any given um, latitude at any, any given date, at any given solar elevation, there are two possible hours. So with the date known and the latitude known, as I rotate the dial, there will be exactly two spots where I see a beam of light appear on this dial plane. One is the current solar hour, and the other is the current solar elevation mirrored across into the opposite half of the sky. Now again, I can know which is correct by either knowing the direction of north or the, um, my current position relative to noon. The output of a true northern orientation also comes from the hour being known as when the correct hour is indicated by the point of light on the hour plane, the entirety of the dial is locked in place and acts as a miniature model of the celestial sphere, with the uh, gnomon assembly paralleling the uh, celestial axis and uh, axis of the Earth, and the hour plane parallel paralleling the equator. So in addition to telling the time, this dial is also able to function as a solar compass and model of the celestial sphere. Now, I hope this explained exactly how the dial is able to self-orient, but it also introduces an interesting concept, that being that this dial is an interesting uh, combination of altitude and uh, hour angle. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.